Hey everybody, Keith K here. Welcome back to our Minecraft survival series. I'm recording this in December of 2020 um, and we're on 1.16. And uh, in this episode, we're gonna leave our little shelter here um, that we set up near our spawn point and we're gonna head out and build uh, our main base. But before we do that, um, you know, bef before I'm able to uh, shear some sheep and um, get wool to create a bed, I will spend the night <clears throat> really just kind of digging down and then occasionally going off on some of these branches here. And you'll see I'll just mine out a bit in multiple directions, just uh, looking for um, really iron ore and coal. I think here where I found some coal and then I did want to show you uh, as I was going down, I eventually have found some iron. So before um, <clears throat> we head out and uh, look for our new location, I just wanted to show that because I am going to use this iron. I'm going to smelt it down in our furnace and I'm going to use that to create <clears throat> a, uh, a set of shears and then uh, potentially a sword. Um, so I'll get that done <clears throat> and we'll come back when uh, it's time to head out for uh, scouting for a new location. All right, it's just about time to head out. Oh, it looks like there's something on fire over there. So that's something to check. We'll need to check back on later, but um, the sun is about to come up. So let's make sure we've got our load out the way we want it. Um, and, uh, you know, I figure we'll bring all the wood that we have, a little bit of cobblestone. Maybe we'll bring another one here and uh, a little bit of dirt. Dirt will be easy to come by. And then some of the seeds that we've got left over, doors, fence posts, and then some tree saplings. Um, there should be plenty of trees wherever we're headed, but I always like to bring a few. This is obviously more than a few, but we're gonna have kind of plenty of oak saplings as any typical game goes. Um, maybe I'll bring the flint and the gravel too. I'm not sure how I'll use them, but um, got a lot of gravel, so we'll just bring one We'll bring one stack's worth. All right, and there will be still, oh, and I did uh, come find a little more iron than what I had showed you uh, while I was waiting for the sun to come up um, off camera. So I will go ahead and make that iron sword. Uh, so we have something a little bit, let's, a little bit stronger. Should we run into any trouble? Um, got the hoe and I did make some shears. You make shears by just putting two pieces uh, diagonal to each other. If we come across any um, sheep along the way, we're going to shear them so that we can, uh, you know, hopefully we can build, get enough to build a bed so we're not uh, kind of going through the night constantly um, if we don't want to. All right, a little bit of armor and then we'll save the rest and let's go see how we're doing. Didn't hear any skeletons. Or zombies burning up, but you have to be careful. Creepers don't burn up in the sun, so they will still hang out. Uh, we definitely should collect um, whatever is ready just to have that with us. That looks ready. That looks what? That and that. So we get a few more seeds, but we'll I think we'll at least replant those rows should we come back here so it leaves us with six and obviously we'll have a lot more um, you know we can just get a lot more from uh, grass so I did a little bit of exploring before and we're gonna head over this way kind of bearing in mind so the Sun's rising here so we'll always know if we want to get back, we'll keep the sun to our right if it's in the morning. All right, I believe in this direction. So what we're looking for right now is a place that has some horse, cows and chickens. Pigs would be nice too, but certainly not essential. Let's see what's up over this ridge. So we've got cows here, some horses. And we've got a village off in the distance, which is actually interesting. Um, 
but I don't want to be too close to that because I don't want to inadvertently uh, trigger raids if I'm defending my own area, uh, but I'm close enough to trigger a raid that I then have to deal with. So let's head this way. There's some sheep. Let's go ahead and grab some wool. Some chickens, so that's a good sign. Oh, am I really full up? Let's combine these two stone pickaxes. You can repair them a little bit uh, when you combine two together. Yeah, that's one trade-off for bringing so much stuff. So this isn't a bad area. It's not particularly flat. Let's go off this direction here. And see what we see. This could be a good location. I just worry about it being too close to the village there. Let's see what's out over in this direction here. Alright, so I like this setup. I like this area actually a lot better. Uh, there, we, there we go. We've got cows, we've got pigs, we've got chickens. If I have to go a little bit for horses, that's fine. Not too far from the village. And we've got quite a selection of trees. So let's see, we've got an interesting little cave system over there. So I think this is where we're gonna set up. Yeah, look at all these chickens. We can actually harvest some of these. Well, I've, I got a full inventory, we'll wait. Let's figure out where we wanna put our initial base. I always like to go up a little bit of a vantage point. And try to like, uh, let's see, try to envision where we're going to go. So I think what we're going to do is, because I think this area here, this might actually be a good vantage point for a house. Um, and we can probably connect that here to a... Um, you know, an initial uh, shelter. So we, we'll build an initial shelter into here. Um, we'll get a farm going, I think out here. Um, and then I will set up my livestock. Uh, I'll show you how I do that. It's nothing fancy, but it's, um, I think it's compact and it's functional. So we'll kind of go through that. Um, I am, Got enough for one loaf of bread there. So I think the priority is gonna be, let's get the shelter set up here, get the farm going, and we'll get some food. Let's just make sure we're ready for the sun to go down. Just go out, probably do like a three by three here. That'll get us started. Okay. Let's get a crafting table. We're going to need that. Just throw that out there for now. Oh, it's not going to cooperate. All right, so let's get that out. Next thing we're going to want to do is get ourselves... two chests so we can offload some of this crap. Get rid of everything we don't need immediately. I'll hang on to that. All right, let's get a furnace. Hello, Mr. Chicken. 
What are you doing in here? All right, well, you're going to be our first chicken dinner. Oh, oh, you little sucker ran off on me. There we go. <clears throat> Let's get a little light. And let's just go up one so that we can place our bed here without hitting our head when we wake up in the morning. So our bed's going to be, we're gonna need three of these. And then we'll go three planks. We've got our bed. Put that down there. Let's get a door in here. Case we run into any trouble and then one thing I think is always worth doing right away if you just take two planks <clears throat> build a pressure plate put it one block away from the door and that way oh, who's on fire let's say you do have somebody chasing you and you want to you choose to get away instead when you run through the door will shut right behind you It'll open in front of you. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna fill this area in. I'll do that off camera. The sun is getting ready to go down. So let's see. Again, I like to envision kind of what my layout is gonna be before I start working. I think if I have my main home here, I'm gonna put the farm out here along with some of the livestock. So I'm gonna quickly go to sleep so we can get back up to the daylight and we'll pick it up from there. All right, and we're ready to get up for the morning. Um, if you haven't played before, when you first sleep in a new bed, it resets your spawn point. So should you die, we'll come you know, you'll come back to that bed instead of off to your original spawn point. Um, I know sometimes when I'm adventuring, I will break my bed and bring it with me, um, which is a bad practice. You should probably leave, you know, leave the existing bed and build a new one and bring it with you in case you get caught out at night. Uh, you can just dig a quick shelter and sleep there. Um, but if you were, if your bed is destroyed and you don't sleep in a new bed, it, you happen to die in that scenario, you'll actually go back to your original spawn point, which is why I always like to have a little bit of a shelter built um, before that happens. So let's see here. We've got our hoe. We've got some seeds. Let's go out and f establish our farm. And anytime I'm moving around, you know, in my new base area, I'll just break up grass as I go instead of sitting there. You know, you some you can kind of go up and down the line, right? And just kind of get them. It becomes very tedious, though. So I'll just do it as I go. All right now, let's see. What did we say? Right about here. Yeah. So this area here, we're gonna set up our farm. In order to do that, we are going to need some water, and I don't have a bucket yet. So what I'm going to do initially is just put um, some of the seed down over here. So at least we have some food coming in. And let's see if we can find some iron out uh, I think I brought two. Let's see if we can find some iron. There was a cave system over here. I think, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> that would be a good place to look. Otherwise, um, I'll take down some trees for some wood. Yeah, let's see what we can find over here. You know, rather than just digging straight down in our new shelter. Now, um, I always put 
My torch is on the left. Oh, this isn't going to go too far, so we're not going to find any here. Sorry, I always put my torches on the right, so when I'm heading back out, if I had gotten disoriented, they show up on the left. Um, I actually got that tip from Paul Soros Jr. Uh, if you haven't seen him, he's got a great Survive and Thrive series. I actually uh, quite struggled with Minecraft. I wasn't sure what the hell to do when I first played it, and he got me going on it quite successfully. All right, well, we'll be back. I'm going to head over there and see if I can find some iron. Actually, there's a cave system right by our door that I hadn't seen. So let's hop down here. I should eat something soon, but we're going to keep going. I'm going to risk it. Try to find some iron. There we go. Oh, there's another hole there. All right, let's just put some lights up so we don't get surprised. Actually, I'm going to close that off. Just so nobody sneaks up on us. All right, so we're going to grab some iron here. And there's a little more up here. Yeah, you can always find some surface iron um, either down in some of these caves uh, that are you know scattered throughout um, or uh, let's grab this while we're here once I'm further along I won't always stop uh, to completely pull out every bit of coal you can actually end up spending a good portion of your game time doing that uh, but it's not like we have stacks and stacks of it yet so uh, and more iron. Now let's grab that. So we'll at least grab the iron. We're going to head back. We're going to smelt this. And then we'll get the farm going. And don't worry. I will come back for all this coal. We, it's not like we have a ton yet. And we can afford to just leave it. But I won't make you uh, sit through that. Just grab a few more here. So we have enough to smelt our iron. All right. And that's good. We didn't have to go too far. So this is definitely something else about our location. Nice is we've got an interesting tunnel system right here. And we've got a pretty dangerous spot right there. Uh, we don't want to accidentally fall into. Another thing I really need to do right away is put some torches up here just so that if I am disoriented and can't quickly find it where I'm headed, and I need a loaf of bread. Let's get that. All right. Uh, put those there. Let's go ahead and get our iron cooking or smelting. We've got two iron ingots. We need a third. So as soon as that's ready, we'll head back out and just let this go on its own. Okay, so three iron ingots in a V, and you get yourself a nice little bucket. How are we doing on time? Is it directly overhead? Yeah. All right, so I'm thinking generally right here, we'll have like a nice little water source, which could you know, conceivably be for um, the, our animals once we start to put livestock in pens. And the way I like to do it, let's, this is kind of a natural little spot. We'll put a little crafting table here. And lately, um, what I've been doing is just mark, I'll mark off. So let's see if we want to have a path here. And we went one, two, three, four. Channel one, two, three, four. And then let's just see how intrusive that might be. Probably don't want to go much past here. Okay. And we'll just do the channel. Let's 
still leave plenty of room for livestock over in this direction. That's probably a good starter. All right, so then we'll grab some water from the corner so it fills back in and you don't get stuck with uh, permanent you know, water that looks like it's flowing somewhere. And all right, so that goes all the way through. And the reason I put four here is because that's as far as it'll irrigate. I'll go five and we should see that that doesn't work. One, two, three. Come on now. Three, four. Clear some of these out. All right, the sun's about to go down, so I'm going to just keep gonna finish doing that with the hoe. So basically, you can see it turns the, the um, dirt into, oops, you just need two of those, turns the dirt into farmable uh, block. So you can't put um, any kind of seed on a on a dirt block, but you can on a farmable block there. All right, so I'm gonna go sleep and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back, the sun's up, and uh, like I was saying, we will finish going out four. Now, you can actually do this anywhere, um, as a matter of fact. You don't need to be near water, but it won't irrigate, and eventually um, it'll turn back into dirt. It'll basically um, now, you, if you get a seed in there, I should say, if you get a seed in there, it won't, it, don't, it won't die on you. So I'll leave this here and we'll come back to it. But once it's no longer planted, um, it can turn back into just a regular dirt block. And then the other thing about irrigating, you can see the difference here. When they're irrigated, these seeds will grow much faster. Um, and I will take a look. Uh, and put a note in the comments just regarding how much faster they grow, what the actual impact is. But for sure they grow faster um, and they don't revert to dirt. Here you go. See, this reverted to dirt. So that's the biggest issue um, more than anything. And uh, the other thing is as you're planting these, make sure you crouch because if you walk on this, uh, he's, this sucker's going to follow me because they actually eat. Let's do this, because there's plenty of chickens for me for later for ranching purposes. So, like I was saying before, I was so really interrupted by that chicken. Um, you want to crouch, which for the PC, that's shift, right? So that you're not uh, walking full speed on these, because if you do walk full speed on these, they will uh, revert to dirt again. And... Uh, that's all the seed we have. So this is the size I want my farm to be. Um, but that's what we've got planted for now. When we start harvesting, we'll get more seeds until we fill this up. And what I'll typically do, uh, I'm not going to, I don't have the patience, honestly, to sit here and whack every single piece of uh, grass to get wheat seeds. But as I'm building things, I will do that. Um, and that'll give us some more uh, as well. Now, a couple other things to finish this off. I don't particularly like the sound of running water in my garden. You might, and so you could simply leave this. But I like to get it to the point where it's nice and tranquil. I'm going to run on this. We'll see. Um, and so if you, you see, if you put this two blocks away, uh, this fills in and this is running. So we'll do this once more. So this is running we'll two blocks away. Now these are all filled in. If I grab the middle one, you can see it, it actually restores itself. So then you can just kind of do this. I don't want to bust up any seed. We'll see if any of this actually reverts. Oh. You can't do it to an original source. That's the one uh, thing though. Um, where you've placed the water, you want to do it on one that's in between because if you go to the original, which one was it? This one? Oh, 
Yeah, there we go. So you can see now the water's running into it. But let's put that back. Kind of mess the whole thing up here. So I'll just keep doing this until we get nice, tranquil water all the way across. No running water sounds. Uh, the other thing, um, you know, when you harvest this, sometimes those seeds will fall in that channel. Uh, now you could just build it right next to the water. You have to, you know, that's a that's a valid choice. I like to be able to put it wherever I want. Um, so let's see. I think twelve will probably do it. Uh, one other thing I like to do is these little half slabs. Uh, I'll put one dirt block down so I can place the initial slab. Put it on the bottom, so you gotta aim at the bottom half, and then this can go away. And then. Um, we're just going to place these all the way along. And I need a few more. And that way we won't fall in the water and the seeds or the wheat won't fall in the water as we harvest them. Um, the other thing you do have to worry about is mobs running through here. They can turn uh, your farm into dirt. Um, I don't, you know, I, I've, I've fenced these off before. Um, I don't actually like fencing them off, so I'm not going to, but I will put some torches up around them. It does also help them, uh, I believe, grow faster. And then we'll just add a few flourishes here. Uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. So I like to ring this with a little walkway. And this has nothing to do with function, this is just aesthetics. Let's take care of this first. There we go. And then um, I will put up typically maybe here, the four corners and then these spots here. Maybe a little more, we'll see. So we just need some sticks and planks in this configuration. Oh, where's my other ones? Here we go. Just to show you kind of what this will look like. Put one there and then off to the corner, I'll end up moving that. Something like this and then put a torch on each one. All right, so I'll finish setting this up and then we'll take come back and take a look at what it looks like finished. All right, and here's what the finished um, simple farm looks like, early game. Um, I've got you know some posts up with torches on them to provide some lighting. Um, one other thing I like to do is sort of section these off. This is just you know for looks. Um, you certainly don't have to do this, but I might put like, other crops in here, right? So when we get carrots or radishes, give them their own section. And when we get melons, um, we'll take a look at that separately. So that's gonna do it for today. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoy these, please do consider subscribing. Give the uh, video a like. It definitely helps the channel and helps other people find it. And uh, I think next time we'll come back. I will clean up a little bit off camera and then we'll look at setting up our livestock pens um and then we'll we'll probably get our our house set up and then we'll head off and start doing some adventuring our goal will be to uh, find some diamond as quickly as possible so that we can um, build ourselves a nether portal uh, and get to the nether so that's kind of the rough game plan going forward as always thanks for watching and we'll see you back here soon